Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about the entrance exams for LPC. Quick disclaimer, I applied through the Hong Kong system, uh, so this might be different depending on where you apply from. So I took four exams, Mathematical Reasoning, Abstract Reasoning, Creative Writing and Reading Comprehension. Reading Comprehension, let me give you a quick overview of what the Reading Comprehension exam is. I'm really struggling. You have uh, multiple cho multiple choice. So you have multiple choice questions. Um, in total, there are 40 multiple choice questions, and you have 45 minutes for this test. So one minute per multiple choice question, and then five minutes to um, reread. So now my tips for this exam is: whenever you get to a question and you don't know the answer, skip it right away because you only have one minute per question. It is literally in your best interest to just skip the questions for the moment and um, you should probably circle it in pencil. When you finished your exam and you flip through to check, if it's circled in pencil, the question that you haven't answered, it, you will automatically see it and you won't accidentally skip it because that would not be good. Um, so that's my first tip. Second tip is for this exam, what I found the most difficult is that in the multiple choice answers, literally the words are all synonyms. So I think that you should definitely try and read as much as possible to get in like the f months leading up to the exam, read as much as possible to try and refine your vocabulary. And I think you should read the questions before reading the, the written material or the visual material so that you have in mind the questions when reading. Now for the mathematical reasoning test. The thing that surprised me the most is that there were science questions. And I remember there were some questions about wood, I don't know, there were weird physics, mostly physics questions. And of course, you know, in physics you use math and in science you use math in general, but I was not, I didn't expect any science to come up and so I kind of panicked when I saw a science question. I think you should be, you know, at least your basics. I'm not the best at science yet, I still got in and I still did pretty well in this exam. And also it's multiple choice, so if all fails, just try and think logically. Same thing goes for English. If you are stuck on a question, skip it, circle it, circle it, skip it, and then come back to it later on because I definitely did this and that saved me so much otherwise I wouldn't have had enough time and that for any exam is my number one lifesaver because I honestly don't think I have ever finished an exam with no time. Like, been it, not finished an exam in the time given to us because I use this technique so I would definitely recommend it. By the way, I'm so sorry about the cars. It, um, yeah, there's a lot of cars right there. It's supposed to be an exam where you don't come prepared. Now obviously, I think most if not all the people that got in to LPC or to a UWC school did prepare for the exam. Um, and I think you will have a greater chance of getting in if you do prepare but there isn't necessarily something you can they don't give you things that you can learn to take the exam next one abstract reasoning now this was my favorite one to take my favorite one to prepare for it's I don't know why a lot of people I talked to didn't like the exam at all or didn't like preparing for it but I thought it was so fun and really made me made my brain work um, so abstract reasoning what they do is basically they give you a sequence or beginning of a sequence and you need to say which one is the next in line but um, uh, the way it's the way it is in like for example if it's I don't know honestly I don't know <laughs> um, should probably before the exam have a mental checklist of the different things it could be and then when you go in the exam check them off um, 
check them off. Take them off. I honestly, I'm thinking in French right now, so I'm confusing myself. But have a mental checklist that you can refer to in your exam. I'm specifying mental because you can't take any papers in. Papers, papers, paper in. <laughs> Number two, look at one rule at a time. Because there is a lot of data in the question, it is meant to confuse you and it is meant to make you kind of flustered and not know what to even do with the question. So take your time. So that's it for the abstract reasoning. Creative writing. I think we had 45, 45 minutes and they give you two um, scenarios and then you have to write a story around it. That was the exam that I worked the hardest for. I actually have on Wattpad, um, I, ha I made something called like um, creative writing, I don't know. And then I got some prompts off of Pinterest and wrote. Um, they're really odd. I'll leave them below. I, I think I only did a few, like three, four, um, on my Wattpad. But I think that you need to remember with your prompt, um, you should have a story around it and have it at the centre of your story and don't just put it in the end. The story should revolve around the prompt, it's not the other way around. The prompt shouldn't revolve around the story. You should probably give yourself five minutes to try and come up with a solid story plan because it is absolutely horrible for yourself if you see the prompt, pick it, start writing and then realise halfway through that you don't have an ending, this isn't a solid plot, you aren't using your prompts properly, so it is quite stressful because you only have a limited time but pick your prompts carefully and if not you can make it work because honestly they give you two prompts for a reason you can make it work for either one um, but you should probably have a short and concise story because you don't have that much time so you shouldn't try and make a 5,000 word essay um, I think mine was only a few pages long because I took time in trying to figure out my storyline and trying to make it a solid story. Now for the preparation behind this, you should definitely go onto Pinterest and look at, oh my gosh, the, my battery is flashing red, go onto Pinterest, find prompts and just practice writing. That is my key for this exam, and my key advice solid advice there you go so i hope that you've enjoyed this video and um subscribe if you want more uwc content because i will be vlogging i will be posting videos on how i got in on challenge day on application process i will be vlogging i already said that <laughs> um i will be bringing you along my journey. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, good luck if you're taking the exam this year or next year or whenever you're going to be taking it, um, I have faith in you and yeah, like if you want to, subscribe and I'll see you soon.